Welcome to HDTV. You now rocking with your boy. All right, now th this is a thing that gets on my nerves. People say, well, you didn't pick up a basketball and play in the pro level. You have no right to criticize or you never ran a, a ball in the end zone. And this is what I ask you. If that's the case, then why do you listen to these media people in the media? Because a lot of them never touched the basketball. A lot of them never touched the football. They never been on the diamond. But let me ask you this. What if all these people who's criticizing them stop buying their stuff? Because we as the people have a right not to buy a jersey or buy tickets or buy anything to come see your bum behind play. These athletes today are spoiled. They're spoiled. All the greats from the past have always went through criticism. They went through being said that they can't play. They can't do this. They can't do that. Yeah, we have a right to say that. If I bought a ticket to watch you play in a game and you play like trash, I'm going to say, dude, you played like trash. You sucked. I have the right to do that because I paid money to see you play. I have the right to criticize you. It's the same thing like if you work for FedEx, UPS, or USPS, and you deliver a package, right? The customers say, I don't like how you delivered that package. You need to deliver it like this. So are you going to tell the customer, yo, you don't do my job? You you don't you don't do my job, so you can't criticize me. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> she paid for you to deliver that package, so you better sit down and say, I got you. I'm gonna do better next time. And that's what's wrong with these athletes. We we've got any spoiled brats who can't take criticism. Listen, you're going to get criticized. You're going you're going to be said you're not doing this, doing that. Kobe Bryant exhibited the greatest of taking all the anger and the hate towards. And he just went out there and said, I'm going to play. And people asked him, well, do you worry about where you're going to be placed in history? And he's like, no, because I have no control over it. My legacy speaks for itself. I'm done. But all the ballers put him over players. But you guys say, oh, that's not right. He, he's not up there. <laughs> And it's just disrespect. Guys like Larry Bird and Magic have to come out and give respect. And also um, Michael have to come out and give respect. But guys like Shannon Sharp and, and all these guys who never played basketball, they're going to diss or skip baseless. So they have a right. Skip Bayless, Shannon, all of them guys have a right. Stephen A have a right to criticize you. We as the fans are the people who have a platform now where we can come online and give our opinions. We have a right to criticize you. I have the right to criticize an actor who's doing a movie. If I pay money to go see your bum behind movie, I'm going to tell you if it was good or not. If it was great or not. If it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. You can get mad if you want to fight. We can fight. <laughs> I love to fight. <laughs> to me, that's easier than sitting down and talking it out. We can fight, throw hands, and then get back on with our day. So all this internet stuff, people want to troll and talk trash. They nothing but ussies to me. They nothing but soft. They, they nothing but cotton candy. Because I know if I seen them in person, I eat them. I would eat them up. So that's why I don't get mad when somebody says something. I tell them straight up, man, F you. Go about your day. Because you don't stop what I'm doing. You don't stop me. I don't care if my video got one view or if it gets 100 views, even if it never get a view at all. I'm going to say what the hell I feel like. And if you don't like it, then don't like it. Don't comment on it. Don't look at it. <laughs> But you got to because you know why? Because it burns you inside that I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. You guys want to control narrative in today's league and in today's sports. Today's sports is the worst sports I've ever seen. 
Basketball, you can't even touch a guy. If you touch a guy, it's a foul. These bubble games, everyone's talking about, oh, it's been good. These bubble games have sucked. Okay, they sucked. LeBron James sucks. The league is going to carry him as far as they can until it's time for him to retire. We've been known about him. But because he had a stacked team, they got to down guys like KD. They got to down guys like Michael Jordan or Kobe, all these guys, and try to, and Magic Johnson, and try to make their teams better than what they were. And it's just downright sickening. I don't care if you're a great player. Like, like, like KD said it best. It's hard to be a great player on a great team as opposed to a great player on a sorry team. And he's correct. Larry Bird was on a great team and he was the best player. Magic was on a great team. He was the best player. Isaiah Thomas was on a good team or we could say great legendary team, but he was the best. Michael was on a good team. But he was the best. Kobe was on great teams and good. He was on a great, he was on a good team with another great player. He showed that he could be the best at times. And then he showed when he was on a team as the best player, which the rest of the talent wasn't that great. They were average or slightly above. And he showed he was great. So I'm tired of hearing all of this. Oh, well, you you guys are just hating and stuff. We're not hating. We're we're tired of watching guys who aren't as good as other guys get all this praise when they're not that good. They give you all these stats. But when I watch the game, their stats don't equate to their play. Their skill level isn't that good. It's even in football. Football has gotten arcade ish. They let certain things slide. If you if you knock if you knock the mess out of um what's his name? If you knock the mess out the quarterback, they're gonna call something. But other quarterbacks, they're gonna let it slide and let them get hit extra hard. They change where you can't hit somebody coming across the middle. You can't crack back. They've taken all the toughness out because they had to pay all this money for the concussion protocol. And because they lost so much money for the concussions, they got to make the league soft. The NBA, they had to make the league soft to make it more Euro friendly. They need more white boys in there. That's why they're making the league soft. That's why they're doing all this shooting threes. That's how the Euros play. The Euros play like shoot fast break three. The Americans, we used to play inside and out. So we would attack inside. When it was time to shoot outside, that's when we shot outside. So basically this video is just saying, look, thank you for supporting the page. Continue to support it. Um, thank you all um, for the people listening. Um, thank you organically. Um, organically, thank you um, for subscribing, man. I, I love doing that video. I'm gonna try to do another one for you. Um, shout out to Cliff and Tracy on the mark. Um, check that show out on um, Facebook Live. Um, it's Cliff and Tracy on the mark, and it's every Monday. I believe it's six o'clock. Um, I think it's um yeah six o'clock um midwest time i believe it is texas time check that show out they be speaking some real facts um i'm gonna try to do a live probably next week or the week after i want to do a little bit more videos probably for when i make it over 100 videos i'll probably do one but um i just wanted to tell the truth you know, people are really getting on my nerves with this notion that that um that you can't critique anybody. And it's like, what? why I can't critique nobody? I don't give a damn if I ain't shoot the ball. I pay my tickets to see you. I pay to watch you. I pay this cable bill. See, y'all want us to pay all this money to see y'all play and pay for y'all memorabilia and stuff. But y'all want to act like little punks when it comes to criticizing you. 
hell out of here. Like, I, I can't stand the athlete. You come up to get an autograph for him. You know, they like, well, you got to pay for that. Now, some athletes, I agree with them. It's a certain time and place where you could get the autograph. And you have to you have to respect that. If you don't, then that just shows your ignorance. Now, I, I don't want to hear no more. I don't want to hear no more about you can't say this. I'm going to criticize anybody. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to criticize everybody. If you sucked, I'm going to tell you why you sucked. All right? So, um, thank you for listening. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell. When you hit it, please select all so you can get notified of upcoming um, content. And um, thank you for listening. We out. Live, boy.